Today we are in downtown Mount Dora and super excited for this video because we're heading back to the Magical Meat Boutique and we actually did a video on it for like lunch, but I didn't realize you found out that apparently they serve breakfast all day. So we're gonna go try, they've got, according to online, multiple Full English, full, full Scottish, and full Monty. And yes. they have sides and stuff too. So we're gonna walk here in this parking garage. It might get dark. Let's see. Ah, oh, not too bad. We're gonna go try that out. Let's go check it out. Just to show you where the location's at, you park kind of in the parking garage. You take a left right here. We've done a couple videos down here. Like I said, we've done one of the Magical Meat Boutique and also of the Olive Branch, which is right down here on the right. Right over here is that Olive Branch that we've been to. And just on past that is the Magical Meat Boutique. I'm excited to try some of the breakfast. I didn't really realize that they serve it. I'm not sure which ones we're gonna get, but we might try a couple or we might try the same. I don't know. We're gonna cross over right here and just right down there. We've also mentioned sometime that we're gonna come stay at the Lakeside Inn right over here. It seems like it would be a fun place to stay. And just right around the corner, right here, Magical Meat Boutique. Doesn't seem too busy. Looks like we can probably get a seat right away. I don't know if the, please seat yourself if there's hours anywhere. Do you want inside or outside? Number one best fish and chips. Please seat yourself. So we are gonna head on inside. And since we can seat ourselves, we're gonna go over here in this corner. Oh yeah, this one's a little wet. So we'll come over here. We've shown the inside up here before, but I'll do another preview of it with the bar. So there is a restroom over there to the left. It looks like a family restroom. And I remember back around the bar here, there's other restrooms and they've got really cool items on the wall. Now we're here for breakfast. And so she said breakfast usually lasts till like four-ish. Um, I'll still show you the menu just because been a little while since we filmed one but let's just go through all the menu here start with salads main event have we had their fish and chips i think we have and it's very good i think the video we actually showed we got fish and chips i think we showed two videos because we came with my mom and dad for the i think so for the mount door scottish we festival it in, the in the video yeah naughty but nice desserts they have the sticky toffee that's right raise it up here the Camden Journal and then oh wow so I did ask if they had any fruity ciders and she said they did a pear or an apple and then she picked pear for me so I'm gonna give that a try oh Magner's hard pear cider right there and then over here they've got bottles crafty cocktails and then this is why we're here today all day breakfast till 4 p.m the full monty the full english the full scottish veggie and breakfast buddy they have a breakfast sandwich eggs benedict eggs royal or is it eggs royale which would you say there eggs royale Create your own breakfast till 11 a.m. Some breakfast beverages. And then here's like the last little side. All prices include sales tax, that's nice. Appetizers, wings, between the bread and gourmet burgers. I think that's it, I think we got it all. So again, this is, we're here for breakfast, so. What is veggie? I think it's brekkie. Is that how you say that? Brekkie. Brekkie. Veggie brekkie. Yeah. Oh, brekkie, like breakfast kind of. It's just a vegetarian breakfast. Nice. What are you doing? Are you doing the full English? I think we should share the full English. Oh, okay. Don't you think, or do you want to share the full long 
to because that has. Does that have everything? All of it combined. Oh, I think we should do that. Share the full Monty. It's like a little bit of everything then? Yeah, if you look, this one, like the difference between them is this one has. White pudding. There's mushroom, tatty scones, there's no, no tatty scones up here. Uh, white pudding, pudding white and black pudding. pudding. And pudding. So you just get okay, we're gonna share that. This feast right here. And until I got with you, I didn't realize you eat beans for breakfast, and now we've done that for a while now. And it's good. Heinz beans. So all of our English friends that watch this, you'll know exactly what we're referring to. You cultured me a little bit. Because <laughs> when you first told me, I was like, I am not eating baked beans for breakfast. You're kidding me. But that's good. They also have these food specials. Homemade quiche. I bet that is delicious. Is it good? Look good, I mean? Oh, you didn't try it? <laughs> And you got the hot tea. Is that milk? Can I have the milk? <laughs> That's a nice pour there. Yeah. That looks really good. Oh, and here's my drink. The pear cider. I'm going to give that a try. Ooh, let's look at this. Oh, smell. Smell. Hey, you smell that? Mm. Nice. Let's give this a try. Oh yeah, that's very good. That is very good. You good? They also have this little area for music, and then this way, the restrooms. Pretty cool, the, all the theming and designs they have in here. Men to the left because women are always right. Here is the breakfast, check this out. This looks amazing. Oh, those are hot. I'm super excited for this. And that's plenty of food, that is a feast, like they said. You can see how much food there actually is to share. If you're watching this and you're from the UK or you've just had an English breakfast before, tell us what your favorite items are to eat. I would say mine's probably the beans, beans and toast. And what would yours be? My vote would be, I love beans on toast, but I love English pancakes. Oh yeah, they should include that here. That'd be a nice little touch. I'm gonna individually just try some of these items. So here's the mushroom. Mm. That's tasty. Ash brown. Uh, just the mushroom. Ash brown. Also good. The ham. Ooh, the ham is really good. Uh, the sausage. That's tasty sausage. Looks really good. White pudding. Followed by the black pudding. I don't know which one I like better. Maybe the white. I don't know. And then just the toast by itself, but I will put beans on it. Also, good. what's your favorite so far? Beans. Beans? I'm gonna do the beans by itself. Mmm. Those are good. I haven't tried the tomato or eggs yet, which I'll do that kind of at the end. But I'm just gonna keep working on this. I put the beans on the toast. Everything was tasty. And that's plenty of food for us for, for breakfast. We are stuffed. That drink, very large drink. Kind of fills you up pretty quick. We've gotten their sticky toffee pudding before, and last time they were out of it, so I think we're gonna see if they still have some so we can get some today. They do have it, and we got the hot custard with it. You can get it with ice cream or hot custard. Hot custard's the way to go. And here is the sticky toffee pudding. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. We love the sticky toffee pudding at Rose and Crown at Epcot. That's like our favorite, but this looks very good as well. Here we go. That's good. You like it? It's very good. I love custard too, so this is awesome. That was so good. It's worth it. Even if you're stuffed, you have to get it. And here's a look at the bill. 
forty dollars. I don't think that's too bad considering I got a alcoholic drink and we got dessert. Take those out. It's a pretty cheap meal, twenty bucks. But forty is not bad for all we got. Now we're heading back outside. That was so good. You can also sit outside if you want, which it's it's a nice day in the shade. Love the little telephone booth out in front here. Well, we totally forgot to do an outro after we ate at Magical Meat Boutique today. What? After looking back at some of our videos, I was like, oops. We ended up walking around downtown Mount Dora. Kind of forgot. So here we are. I have to say, it was good. It always is. It always is. The breakfast was good, though. That's the first time we've ever had the breakfast. And what's cool is they have the what Scottish the English and full English full Scottish and then we got the full Monty that has the both of them and like you told me the veggie brekkie yeah <laughs> they have the vegetable breakfast as well um staff's always friendly really wasn't too expensive I mean I got a full out drink so if I wouldn't have done that and we also got the dessert wouldn't have been bad at all but the dessert's fantastic the drink was good how was your tea you said it was good mm -hmm. And the food was good. We were full. And we went early in the afternoon, so it was not very busy. I know it can get busy in the evening and afternoon, which is good, but yeah. it wasn't busy when we were there. And they pretty much serve breakfast until 4 p.m., which is nice, too, that you can you don't have to get there super early mm -hmm. to get it. But I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was good. Mm -hmm. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.